Hi guys! Welcome sa Engineer Nerd Math Channel. Sa video na to ay magre-review tayo for Engineering Board Exam Electronics Refresher. So kung gusto niyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Okay, so this time ay magre-review tayo for Engineering Board Exam Electronics Refresher, which is Part 1. So, magsasagot tayo ng sets of questions. Let's start with question number 1. Assuming the connecting wires and battery have negligible resistance, the voltage across the 25 ohm resistance in the circuit below is... Okay, so ito yung circuit natin. So, kung mapapansin nyo, meron lang tayong 3 resistors in series supplied by a 60 volt source. Okay, so therefore... Ang tanong is, ano raw yung voltage drop dito sa 25 ohm resistor? So, voltage divider lang, right? So, yung formula natin is, so, voltage across 25 ohm is yung resistance nung resistor na consider natin, which is yung 25 ohms, divided by doon sa total resistance nung series connections nila. So, 3 ohms plus 2 ohms plus 25 ohms. And then, multiplied by the voltage source, which is 60 volts. So, using calculator, it is equal to what? 50 volts. So, therefore, the answer is letter C. Okay? Next, we have, assuming the connecting wires and battery have negligible resistance, the voltage across the 6 ohm resistance in the circuit below is... Okay, so, kung mapapansin nyo, yung given circuit natin is a series to parallel circuit with a voltage source of 12 volts. So, pwede natin gawin is i-combine muna natin itong parallel resistors na 12 ohm tsaka 6 ohm as a single resistor and then apply natin yung voltage divider para mahanap natin yung voltage across dito sa parallel combination nitong resistor. And then, yun na rin yung magiging voltage dito sa 6 ohm kasi nga parallel sila, right? Kapag parallel, same lang yung voltage across each resistor. Okay, so therefore, hanapin muna natin yung parallel combination nito. So, ano ba? 12 ohms times 6 ohms over 12 plus 6. Product over sum. So, ilan yun? 4 ohms, right? So, therefore, pag niredraw natin, meron na lang tayong series resistor na 2 ohm, tsaka yung nakuha natin 4 ohm. And then, yung supply natin is 12 volts. To solve for the voltage across this 4 ohm is voltage divider. So, yung resistance nga na 4 ohm over yung total resistance ng series circuit. So, 2 ohm plus 4 ohm and then multiplied by the voltage source na 12 volts. So, ilan to? 8 volts. So, therefore, ito na rin yung magiging voltage drop across para dito sa 12 ohm tsaka sa 6 ohm resistor. So, therefore, the answer is letter D, 8 volts. Okay? Next, we have a 125 volt battery charger is used to charge a 75 volt battery with internal resistance of 1.5 ohm. If the charging current is not to exceed 5 amps, the minimum resistance in series with the charger must be okay. So, meron daw tayong charger na 125 volts and then meron siyang unknown internal resistance R which is to be determined. It's a charge niya raw itong 75 volt battery na merong internal resistance na 1.5 ohm. Tapos, yung dapat daw na current na dadaloy doon sa charging is 5 amps max. So, hindi dapat may exceed doon. So, ano ngayon yung possible value ng internal resistance ng 125 volt battery charger? So, KVL lang, right? So, pwede tayong mag of voltage is equal to 0 around the loop. So, let's say ito yun, yung IMAX. So, passive sign convention, kung saan pumasok yung ating current, dun sa polarity, yun yung sign. So, dito sa 125 volts, sa negative, so minus 125. And then, dito sa R, so plus minus, plus minus, positive then So, plus R times yung current, right? Yung IMAX, ohms law. And then, plus then 1.5 resistance times same na current na IMAX, kasi series. 
And then, para dito sa 75 volt, papasok naman siya sa positive polarity. So, positive 75 volt. Then, wala na. So, equal na sa 0. So, ilan lahat to? So, combine natin to. Negative 125 plus 75 is negative 50. So, negative 50 plus Ri max plus 1.5 I max. So, transpose ko na lang dito. And then, factor out ko tong I max. So, so, I max times R plus 1.5, right? And nito magiging positive 50. So, yung I max given tayo na 5 amps. So, pwede natin i-substitute. So, 5 times R plus 1.5 equals 50. So, divide both sides by 5. We have R plus 1.5 is equal to 50 divided by 5 is 10. Then, transpose ko dito si 1.5. R is equal to 10 minus 1.5. Or, R is equal to 8.5 ohms. So, therefore, the answer is letter D. Okay? Next, we have a coil with inductance of 1 Henry and negligible resistance carries the current shown below. The maximum energy stored in the inductor is... Okay, so ito raw yung current waveform ng ating inductor or coil na merong inductance na 1 Henry. So, ano raw yung maximum energy stored in the inductor? So, ang formula kasi natin sa energy ng inductor is 1 half Li squared. Where yung L, yung inductance, tapos yung I, yung current. So, kung titignan natin yung graph, yung maximum current nitong inductor natin or coil is etong peak niya na 1 amp. So, therefore, pag sinapsitid natin sa formula, makukuha natin yung maximum energy din. Kasi yun yung maximum current niya, 1 amp. So, 1 half times inductance niya na 1 Henry times square nung kanyang current na 1 amps din. So, therefore, simply, 1 half times 1 times 1 squared is 1 half lang, right? So, therefore, the answer is 1 half joule or 0 0.5 joule. Letter B. Okay? Next, we have the maximum voltage that will appear across the coil is... Okay, so looking pa rin dito sa same figure natin for the current ng coil... Meron kasi tayong formula na voltage across the inductor or coil is LDI over DT. Yung L yung inductance, tapos yung DI over DT, yung rate of change ng current. So, kailangan daw natin is yung maximum voltage. So, pwede natin hanapin yung slope na to ng current dito sa graph niya, sa positive slope dapat. So, pwede natin i-consider itong dalawang point na to, tsaka ito. So, therefore, we have yung inductance niya is 1 Henry, right? So, 1 Henry times delta I, di. So, ano ba yung change natin sa I? From 0 to 1 amp. So, 1 minus 0 over yung time is ito. From 0 to 2 milliseconds. So, therefore, 2 minus 0 millisecond. So, ito amps, right? So, amper second. So, ilan lahat to? So, 1 times... 1 over 2 millisecond or 2 times 10 raised to the negative 3rd power. So, ilan to? Parang 1 over 2 to the negative 3rd power lang. So, ilan yan? Using calculator, 500 volts. Okay? So, therefore, the answer is letter D. Okay? Okay, so putulin ko muna dito yung part 1 ng ating engineering board exam reviewer and electronics refresher. So abangan niyo na lang yung next upload ko for electronics refresher part 2. Okay? So sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panonood.